Hi guys, it's Haley at Seamwork and I'm here with another monthly fabric video. Today I'm going to be sharing all of the fabrics that we used in the October 2020 issue of Seamwork. So let's get started. Let's talk about the Finn t-shirt. Finn is a really classic raglan t-shirt. It has two sleeve lengths, a short sleeve and a three quarter length sleeve. It also has a crew neckline, and it has a semi-fitted to relax fit throughout the body. If you're looking for something that's like a classic baseball tee style or a 70s concert tee look, Finn is definitely the t-shirt for you. The most important thing to remember when you're looking for fabric for Finn is four-way stretch, and this is the reason why. In a typical shirt, you have two different seams that are working to navigate around the curves of your shoulder. The shoulder seam and then you have the armhole seam. On a raglan top, you don't have those seams to help shape around your shoulder, so you're really relying on the stretch of the fabric to do that heavy lifting for you. So you want something that doesn't just have horizontal stretch, it also needs vertical stretch so that it can move around your shoulder and not give you an unattractive shape at the shoulder. So if you remember nothing else when looking for fabric, four way stretch is key. That being said, fabrics that are gonna work really well are jerseys, cotton, rayon, bamboo, even merino jersey, as long as it has ample spandex or lycra and stretches in four ways. French terry would also be a good option, again, looking for something good and stretchy. Let me show you what I chose for the photo samples. First up, I have this rayon spandex blend. Um, it's a nice stripe. I got it from fabric.com. It is a Telio fabric. And you can see here it has good horizontal stretch and also really good vertical stretch as well. This is a little bit on the drapier side, but I actually really like that for a um, t-shirt like this. I think it gives it a little bit more elevated look. Um, but yes, this fabric is super luscious and soft. I highly recommend it. For the rest of the Finn photo samples, I actually used the same fabric, just different colorways. Um, and I'm gonna show it to you here. This is a bamboo spandex blend, um, also a Telio fabric. Um, the white and this kind of pretty caramel color are both the same fabric. And if you're doing a color blocked fin, you're gonna wanna look for something that's really similar in weight and in stretch percentage. It doesn't have to be the exact same fabric, but if you can find a fabric that has a few different colorways, it definitely doesn't hurt. Um, so here I have the bamboo spandex blend. Again, it's really drapey and soft. I find bamboo to have a little bit heavier drape than lots of rayons. Um, and I just think it hangs on the body really beautifully. For this month's pattern hack, we did things a little bit differently. Instead of just showing you a hack for Finn, I wanted to explore some color blocking hacks in general. So, we have this really cool color blocked fin that has the raglan bands and then some sleeve bands, which is a really fun look. Again, this is that bamboo spandex blend, um, just in different colorways. We use the scraps from the other sample to make the contrast on this, which is always good. I love using up all of the scraps. And again, for the second kind of bonus hack, we have a Jane. This is an older seamwork pattern, um, but we want to show some other color blocking possibilities. Uh, again, this is that bamboo spandex blend, nice heavy drape, really soft and good stretch. Let's talk about the whip pants. Whip is a really cool woven jogger style pant. It is kind of reminiscent of the Moji pants. If you made that correlation, you are not mistaken. They are super similar. But what we wanted to do was create 
an updated version of this pant um, with a little bit different fit and different construction and details as well. So this is what you'll see with the Wit pant. Wit has a tapered, relaxed fit. It has a mid-rise, which is a little bit higher rise than what Moji is. Moji tends to be quite on the lower rise. And it also has a really cool channeled waistband that includes elastic and drawstring, um, which I think is an extra step that makes these pants really, really super wearable. You'll also see patch pockets on the front and the back of this pant pattern. For wit, a medium weight woven fabric is gonna be the perfect choice. You'll wanna take into consideration that you want something that's heavy weight enough that it's nice and opaque and appropriate for pants, but you also don't want something that's so heavy weight that it's gonna make the waistband, which has the elastic and drawstring, really bulky and clunky. So fabrics that are gonna strike that balance really well are things like linen, linen blends, twill fabrics, um, like denim would also work really well. You could also go for something a little bit lighter weight um, in the rayon or the tensile family, just to make sure that it's nice and opaque and also has enough strength um, to hold up for um, pants because pants do need a little bit more durability to them. Let me show you what we used for the photo samples. So first, I have this green sample. This is the Robert Kaufman Ventana Twill. It's a 100% cotton twill fabric. Twill is really nice because it has good movement and the kind of diagonal weave structure really molds around curves really well, making it really perfect for pants. I like this twill because it's not too heavyweight. As you can see, it has a little bit of drape to it, but also has good structure um, that holds the pockets and the waistband details really, really well. The member bonus for wit adds a patch pocket with a flap and snap closure to the side of the pant leg, creating kind of a modern cargo pant look. Uh, so for this sample, what I wanted to do was choose something that was um, a little bit softer and drapier, um, just to kind of uh, contrast the more utilitarian design of this particular pattern. Um, this is a, what is it? it it is a linen viscose blend, um, has a really lovely slubby texture, and it is definitely um, very opaque and perfect for a more drapey whip pant option. There you have it, all of the fabrics that you saw in the October 2020 issue of Seamwork. I hope you found this helpful and informative, and as always, I cannot wait to see what you make. Happy sewing! Let's talk about the 